Hey everyone, it's me, Stagger. I couldn't find any good information on how you can farm elixirs online, so I decided to go ahead and do it myself. I did some research and, and I did some testing, and I figure this is actually the best method for farming elixirs. So, so if we go to our bestiary, You may notice that there is a creature called the Moldwind, and these Moldwinds are just level 1, and they have 20 HP, and they drop elixirs. Now, I know you might be thinking there are other uh, creatures that can drop elixirs, like Zool, like Zoo, and Skull Eaters, and when they... Here's a Skull Eater. And you can even uh, steal from a couple of them. Um, from a couple of monsters, like the, let's see if I can find it, it's like the Tom Berry, I believe that's what it's called. Let's see here, Tom Berry, oh wait, I found it. Yep, there it is. You can even steal from the Tom Berry, in fact, I'm not sure if this will work on other places, but in GBA version, uh, you, because of the way it kind of moves forward to use knife, you do have five chances of getting an elixir. Um, but the thing is though, these guys are very powerful and very dangerous, and, um, by fighting mold worms, or mold winds, you don't, um, you don't need to worry about, um, any big danger. Not only that, but Skull Eaters are, are are uncommon. Sure, they only have 1 HP, but the incisor attack is powerful. Um, and so all you need to do is just um, have a ninja to throw an item. But, um, again, they're very uncommon and it's not worth it half the time. So, with these Moldwins, um, since they're so weak, you can actually have the entire party be berserk, um, vigilance, so that way you won't get back attacks, sprint just to move faster, and first strike so you can get preemptive strike, and then of course white just to be safe. Now I do have these as freelancers with the berserk ability, you can use berserkers but they will be a little bit slower, uh, for some reason they need some time to think before they attack. Um, but the Berserk ability will set them to the Berserk status and they attack instantly. So, the Wind Shrine is located, um, well, you can kind of look at it yourself, I guess. But we are right here. So, yeah. I've always wondered why they were giving us the Wind Shrine in the late game. But it turns out it's probably for this very reason, so people can grind elixirs. Um, so you find the mold winds in the third floor of the of the wind shrine, just past the save point, and right up the stairs over here. And then all you need to do is run back and forth until you get an encounter. And as you can see, since everyone's berserk. Uh, they go right at it. And, um, of course it's not guaranteed, but I've been doing this for a few hours. And, um, I have about 50 elixirs. Actually, exactly 50 elixirs. Um, you can also get some, uh, leather boots from the Black Imps as well as a wand from the mini wizard, or from the nanny wizard. Um, the white serpents don't drop anything. Now, now there's another reason why I consider this um, more efficient than trying to steal from, um, from those tomberries. In the official strategy guide, um, in fact, let me go ahead and grab it real quick. 
One tactic for stocking up on items is to steal from an enemy, then cast a time magic spell return to start the over battle. Repeat the sequence as many times as you like. What it doesn't tell you is that this trick, all it does is just restart the battle over and over. Um, the, the amount of items you have um, will revert back to the amount of items you originally had just before the battle. So, in other words, the trick doesn't really work. And so you're kind of just wasting your time if you if you do that. Um, otherwise, I wouldn't mind just kind of sitting there taking knife hits as I steal from the Tom Berries. Um, but otherwise, it just seems like it's not really worth your time. Time in that regard. And hey, we got ourselves an elixir. Now, another thing is, um, there is another enemy in the same area as the Tom Berry. Let me go back, let me go down to the Tom Berry here. Let's see here, where is it? Okay, there it is. So let's see here. Okay, no, before, oh, here it is. The... Alchemia, and these are actually very common. Um, they are, um, they also come with a frog as well. Um, and for those who never uh, cured the frog, it turns into a red dragon. Um, however, I haven't really had many that much luck with uh, with these guys, and plus they um, do take a little bit to kill. Um, but that is another option. You can farm these Almeyas. Um, again, you find them in the same place as the Tomberry, which is right in the waterfall, um, where you get the, where you get the water tablet. Um, but this way is really fast. You go just from battle to battle, like super speed. Because you can just kind of, all you nearly need to do is run back and forth and press A every now and then, and and just hope for a chance to get yourself an elixir. Elixir, and it's just effective and it fat and fast. Well, not fast, fast, but fast enough, really. So, um, I guess that's really it, and, uh, happy farming.